Hey guys, what is up? Summit here, and I'm back with another video. So guys, you may have heard of Schrodinger's cat, which is actually a very famous paradox in quantum theory. Well guys, that is exactly what I'm going to be uh, talking to you about today in this video. So, let's get started. So guys, first of all, what is Schrodinger's cat? Well, Schrodinger's cat is basically, as I told you, a very famous quantum theory uh, paradox that was actually introduced by Eric Schrodinger. So it, it's, it's actually a, an illusion that Eric Schrodinger made in 1935 to actually show the, you know, weirdness of uh, quantum theory, quantum mechanics, how weird it can actually be sometimes. So basically, guys, this is how it goes. So what he did in that was he basically took a cat, right, and he placed it inside a box, right? So you see this box had a radioactive substance okay so the substance was radioactive okay now you see he placed the cat inside this substance no it's a box right now after he put the cat in he closed the box okay and he doesn't really know what's happening inside of that box you see this radioactive substance has a 50 50 percent chance of uh, decaying Okay, it's a 50% chance that it will decay and 50% chance that it won't decay. Now, if the radioactive substance decays, the cat dies. If it doesn't decay, the cat lives. So, basically, what he wanted to tell us was that when the cat is actually inside of this box, you don't know what's going inside, okay? You have no way of actually knowing what is going on inside of this box. So, basically, at this time, when the box isn't open, when the cat is inside of the box, the radioactive substance is known to be in a superposition. Now, what is the superposition? Basically, what a superposition means is that the radioactive substance in this is considered to be both decaying and not decayed. So, in terms, what that means is that when the cat is inside of the box, it cat can be considered to be both dead and alive. Now you may be thinking, what is this? This doesn't make any sense at all. But actually, it does. You see, what happens is that since you have no way of knowing that what's, what exactly is going inside of on inside of this box, you're going to have to consider that the cat is both dead and that it is not dead. It's both alive and it is dead. You, until you open the cat, are basically going to have to treat the cat as if, it is, as if it is both dead and it is alive, because you actually have no way of knowing it, right? So, you're going to have to believe that it is both dead and it is alive. But, as soon as you open the box, as, as soon as the observer opens the box, that paradox has ended, the superposition has ended, and it basically is forced to choose one of the two outcomes. Either the cat is dead or the cat is alive. So basically, guys, this does uh, this does um, show the weird weirdness, um, confusing part about quantum mechanics and quantum uh, the quantum theory. Basically, what it says is that particles, electrons, particles, basically they behave as wave functions. So basically, it describes all of the parts of of an object that can possibly be there. It basically describes that an object can be in all positions at the same time. But when somebody observes that thing, it, it cannot be observed, okay? It is, silently, it's just going on as if it is in all positions until somebody observes it, until it is observed, it breaks that paradox, it breaks that superposition and chooses one of the two outcomes. So guys, that is about it for this video, guys. It was on basically on Schrodinger's cat. It was pretty much a very brief introduction into the quantum mechanics. So... Into the confusingness of quantum mechanics. So guys, yeah, that is about it for this video. If you learned something new in this video, if it helped you, please hit the like button, guys. And guys, please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I upload videos uh, once a week, so you know it really should be worth it. That's about it for this video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.